Hi everyone, it's Triple O Five Storm here, aka Mr. Fleshy Thing, and here is my sidekick. You saw him poke his head out there, nosy to blow. We're doing a little bit of a review, yes, review slash question kind of thing. I just want a very classic film. You'll all know it. Or should. Or should. It is this film. The original Transformers G1 film, as you can see there. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, G1. Yeah, it is the original one. It's a bit of a chat about it. I mean, from what I know, despite it being a good film, it didn't do too well when it in came the, out in the, in the 80s. We always seem to be in trouble for it at the end of the 80s, so we don't know much about the 80s. Apparently, when it first was released, as I recall, um, it got slammed because they said it was just like a feature length advertisement for new figures. And then also got slammed for saying, obviously, it was a lot Star like Wars Star Wars. Was out at the time. And uh, RC looked an awful lot like Princess Leia. Leia. It also uh, was a bit like Luke Skywalker. Oh, what's his, Anakin, what's his name? What's his name? The big planet eating guy, I can't remember his Unicorn. name. Though. Unicorn, that's it, I forgot his name. Though. Also, Unicorn in his transformed form looks a okay. lot like the Death Star. So, yeah, so, like Darth Vader's weird planet thing. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of people. So just, I think were it, was modeled off, it was modelled off the basis of it. Because it was something that they could branch off, but technically Transformers was around before Star Wars, I thought, you? Oh, what do you think Star Wars was then? Yeah, Star Wars was before. No, it was the Pretty sure it was. So, oh, correct me there for Robert Shock, Star Wars before. Yeah, it was. But to us Transform fans, one of the best animated cartoon movies I think I've ever seen. So, also, as people would know, in the space of probably two minutes, all the well-known characters get killed by Megatron in about two minutes. In a I ship. had Pro Ratchet. This is believed to have been done to introduce new characters. It was. It probably was. Also, they got rid of... Optimus as well. Oh well, yeah, but they did that about three times. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, you'd kill them about three times. Yeah. I bet it was off in Thailand with a big cigar saying, "I don't get any fucking airtime, do I?" <laughs> yeah. Optimus, yeah, what? Well, bring you apart. Yeah. But what if he said he die again? I retire. That was hilarious, right? Um, if you've seen the series continuing after the movie, which is the last series, um. Optimus does come back in that, but in Headmasters, he dies again. So he's back for literally about a series and three episodes into head, Headmasters, I think. And he dies because he tries to sacrifice him, himself to destroy Megatron, but, or Galvatron, should I say. And Galvatron somehow miraculously survives, and he ends up being killed again. So it's basically saying that the new leader of the Autobots is Rodimus Brown. Or Pop John. You can kind of tell when he was the next in line anyway, because he's young, reckless, as also Optimus used to be before he was reconfigured. As we all know, Optimus used to be an administrator. Horses. With the pens, I mean. No, no, administrator, he's a factory worker. Yeah, he's but in, worker. in the comics, he's an administrator. Yeah. <laughs> In, in, in the comics, he's, he's... He's a foul guy, he's doing all his data. He's a scientist, he's a data Ah, person. right. Well, as we all know, the depending on what version you look at, Optimus was either... some versions of Optimus before he became the leader of the Autobots, such as a lot of the RDW and Dream, Dreamwave comics, that I've still yet to have looked through. Optimus is different. He's always been Optimus Prime, 
but he's the youngest prime, kind of. And before he becomes the leader of the Autobots, he's either a data collector, very intelligent, or he is a scientist. Apparently, I think in the comic series I've got, I think it's the All Spark one. Um, all the Autobots are kind of like data collectors and scientists, like, like um, developing new technology and stuff like that. Um, and then, obviously, as we all know, the Decepticons was the military on Cybertron. Both sides came apart. Autobots became the transforming vehicles as well as, you know, they wanted to serve by the rules of Cybertron, say. And Megatron is actually older than Optimus, I think. Because obviously he comes, that's a, Orion Pax, that's him. That's the name before I became Optimus Prime G1. Orion Pax looked up to him as a kind of, you know, looked up to him. As a leader. Looked up to him, you know, he, he wanted to be like him. Then he was nearly killed as one of his girlfriend, which later became Alita 1. Uh, but you don't see her get reconfigured until a certain episode where they go back in time to see Orion Pax. Then another episode where you see all oh, the female Autobots are kind of gathered underneath the planet. And then they come back up again. So I'll come back to me. There's massive universes, Transformers. Well, the problem is you, with Transformers, you can make you can make different like how it all began. I mean, Energon, Cybertron, and Bolts back. Basically, the, uni the Unicorn Chronicles. Them ones you can't really. Basically, Optimus is always the leader. He was never anything else. He was always the Autobot leader. That contradicted the whole plot of G1. It was a completely different story and plot completely. That's why a lot of people didn't like them series. The big hardcore G1 fans, that is. I liked the exaggerated Bible Rub with them. And I loved I was getting into anime at the time. I was getting into Japanese anime. So. That's what you saw. Yes. You're very silent, so I'm coming out with all the good facts. You just sat there, like, just going there. Well, it's such a simple thing. I mean, a long time ago when me and John were, were, were young children happily running through fields of dandelions. No, it wasn't so. Were there dandelion fields in hell? No, no, I was being sarcastic there. But yeah, I mean, when we were younger, we used to get up at like five in the morning, Mr. Motivator, Peter Borgs, Power Rangers, Masterada, Transformers. Yeah, Digimon. Oh, I've got to remember Digimon. Pokemon. Pokemon. I didn't really watch Pokemon, I was more of a Digimon fan. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is my preferred one. Yu-Gi-Oh! actually was years after, actually. That yeah, it was. It was the 90s. I started watching that one at about 11. Yeah. I mean... I think... And I suppose we, we grew up with... To be fair... Obviously, we didn't grow up with G1. We grew up with probably G2, wouldn't we? No. We, we grew up... Obviously, G2 was around when we were born, but I think it came out when we was about three. So we probably saw a bit of it, but I'd say G2 we... G2 came out... Basically, G2 is a remastered version... Of G1. Of G1, and a lot of people hated it. Beast Wars. That's what we probably were grew up with. We grew up with Beast Wars, Beast Wars... Beast Wars... Beast, Beast Machines. Machines. Uh, Robots in Disguise, Energon, Cybertron... Headmasters. No, Headmasters was back in the 80s, but... Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm thinking... That's a Takara... Chronicles. Yeah. The uh, so obviously you can't forget such great shows as the Beetleborgs. 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 Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin. You cannot beat the original Power Geo, Rangers. Lost in Space. Power Rangers. Lost Galaxy. It was technically them to a kind of branch off of each other. Yeah. Well, technically, in space and Lost Galaxy. We're talking well, about 80s and present here, I think. Well, well nancy's I think this is going over the 10 minute limit, isn't it? Uh, I the don't know. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I remember when I was about 7, you would get up at like 6 in the morning. I think. Go down. No, when when Beast Wars was on, yeah. it was 95. Yeah, well, you know, Mr. Motivator to start off with. So you would have been, I would have been 6. Seven, yeah, yeah, so like that, yeah. Mr. Motivator. Because obviously Mr. Asshole is about a month older than me. Awesome. 
Uh, so Phil, Phil die a month earlier than me. Thank you. I'm so so I'll glad still be rocking in my chair going. Seriously, how much my mate appreciates me. <laughs> so, yeah, we get off. Well, so what, so we come from, <laughs> oh, that's the first thing comes and bites you in the ass. Yes. <laughs> and I've got nothing for people to have anything coming. <laughs> no, but like. So, um, like I said, we'll get up at probably six in the morning. Somebody will find us on that. <laughs> with, um, Mr. Motivator. Then we, oh, then after, after that, it'll be Power Rangers. Then after Power Rangers, it'll be Beetleborgs. Then uh, it'll, Beast Wars was before. That character, it varied, mate, with me. It always varied. It was yeah. never actually the same. Well, I remember Beast Wars first, Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin after. Beetleborgs, after Beetleborgs, I never actually got to watch the whole thing because I had to get going for school. Was it? Then after Beetleborgs, it was a mass ride.